Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's vlog. We're going to Ireland for two weeks, which is really exciting. We're going on a work trip again. I'm about to hit the airport. I've been cleaning all day. I've been packing and prepping for this trip. So that's the last vlog that you guys just saw. I literally just ended it. I finally got my hotel room. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I was doing really good and then all of a sudden I just hit a slump and our hotel room was like not ready till three. So we were literally sleeping in the lobby. Let's do a quick little room tour. It's literally the same as I remembered it. It's just bathroom, bathtub, closet, full length mirror, coffee machine, and then the bed but i have a balcony this time which is nice i didn't have a balcony last time this is so cute i've rested a little bit i ordered dinner it came so quick it literally came within 15 minutes of me ordering which is insane it's called burritos and blues i didn't try this place last time i got a little bowl i got some little churros for myself a little capri sun some chips and salsa. But I'm eating now because I'm starving. Good morning, everyone. First official day in Ireland. I fell asleep so quick yesterday. I was literally like trying to keep myself up till I could sleep. Wake up at a decent time. So I think I didn't do too bad. Just got ready for work. It's gonna be raining today, so I need to bring my umbrella. I'm just packing up my tote bag. Last time I had like Monday to be like a chiller day. It was very light and easy and I could get accustomed to like the time change. We're jumping right into work this time. No, I can't vlog too much because I'm working all day, but I do try to take y'all on to my Ireland adventures when I do go after work. Last night, I was up till 1. I think I suddenly shifted back to US time, which is why I was like still wide awake. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I need to do some work before we head into work or my team back at home. <laughs> tired i feel like the first day was really good with the jet lag until the nighttime obviously we have really long days like we're on the plant for like nine ish hours and then of course i'm traveling so i'm like going out to eat i'm going for a drink like you guys been seeing and you would think i'd be freaking tired after that day because you know by like 4 or 5 p.m here i'm tired when i come home at like 10 p.m i like suddenly switch to american time and i'm like what a week. I was able to go to sleep around midnight, like forcing myself to go to sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> on his way he's been in dublin so now he's training down to cork i've really been enjoying going out every night and having a drink i think ireland's the only place where i can drink daily and i can have really good desserts because i don't like to drink typically it's like here and there or after a long week i'll have a mark but ireland has really good cocktails like they're so good and they are so good with their desserts like you guys have been seeing me with my desserts every day like i don't typically eat sweets like that but they're so good Hello. Sorry for my lack of vlogging. I am been so tired from work. Friday. You didn't say hello everyone. But Guys, I'm ready. I'm so ready to get this party started. It's, 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 it's. it's been a long week of working. So we're gonna go out. Right after we, you're gonna get all this burst of energy and I'm gonna go sleep more. Whoa, the sun is out. It's so nice to see the sun. We're on the way to find some ramen. We 
are doing a tour today with the paddy wagon. We're doing the Ring of Carry tour. So our first stop is Killarney and it's such a cute town. So I got it with Bailey's. This one was whiskey. See that. Orange more sweeter. That one's really good. Yeah, it's Bailey's. I told you you were gonna like it. I told you to get it. It started raining <laughs> when we were out there. It was such a sunny day. I don't know what happened. <laughs> National Park and we're about to go to Quartz Waterfall. It's so pretty! It's a lot less windier than earlier. Earlier we were flying. This is our last stop before we head back to Quartz. Waterfall is so pretty. It's raining again. <laughs> Morning everyone, happy Sunday. We're having a later start to the day, but yesterday after we got back, we went over to my coworker's house for dinner. So we just chilled with them the rest of the night. But today we're going to Blarney Castle. Today's Daniel's last day before he leaves, but we're going to keep it chill. We made it to Blarney. Expecting. They just kept scooting. I was like, oop, my house is so pretty though. We're trying to go to Blarney's castle now. Oh. Sorry, Blarney's house now. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this place. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. I'm really enjoying seeing all the gardens and like they're just kind of very different from all the other gardens that we've typically seen. Poison garden right outside. Like that's kind of cool. <laughs> and the weather's like not too bad today, which is good. Light rain is supposed to stop in 13 minutes. This is like the more heavier side of the rain that we've seen, even though it's not that super heavy. But we don't have like a cover or anything. I technically don't like rain at all. But you know, we're just gonna have to go with it. Go with the flow and deal with it. Daniel's leaving. He's packing up his stuff. I won't see him for a while. Was it fun? It's been fun, it's always fun. We got to do a lot more touristy stuff this time around. I'm ready to relax a little bit and prepare for work tomorrow. I don't even know what time I have to go to work tomorrow, but we'll see what we're up to. Everyone, I'm alive. Daniel made it safely to Amsterdam, and I've been so tired, so I'm so excited to just chill in tonight. And I took a fat nap, I showered, and now I just delivered some McDonald's. I love how they have the seals on here to make sure that it does not get tampered with. I'm so excited to eat. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week two of being in Ireland. This is gonna be a different week because pretty much am by myself this week. Last week, I had my coworker, but she already went back to Texas, and then I had Daniel towards the weekend. So this one's gonna be really different. I'm gonna really try to push myself to like go out and do stuff. We're gonna romanticize a little bit. I'm really over the weather at this point, so. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult pushing myself. It's kind of scary, but we're gonna try. We're gonna do it and not deliver room every day because that would be lame if I'm here for another week. We're gonna see where the week takes us. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no
It's an awful house. Now I want it to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for a lifetime for you to come down. Oh, nothing feels the same. It actually feels so nice out today. Why now? No rain. No jacket. It feels so nice. Hey guys, just got home from work. I ordered in because I've been eating out a lot recently. Just wanted a day and chill in. I got this place called Kodo. I'm literally at the point in this trip where I just want some Asian food. And obviously there's no pho here. But pending how I feel after this, I might go and get some desserts. I think some dinky donuts are calling my name. I got some shrimps or some prawns. And I got some noodles. Shall we do a first impression? They literally packed it in here. It was supposed to be spicy noodles, so let's see if it's spicy. There's spice in there, alright. Okay. There's some spice. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. And if you guys don't hear from me, it's because I didn't go back out for some dessert. I got my dinky donuts. They even gave me my little dinky donut flag. I wonder if they sugared it for me. Did I order it wrong? Maybe it chose the wrong toppings. But I'm enjoying these donuts. I'm so happy. Morning, everyone. It's my last full day in Cork. I'm about to head downstairs to get some breakfast. And then we're off to work. I finished work. I got home. We're going to go eat first and then go to the Cove. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun is beaming. Just in case the sun decides to play psych. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. My jeans are from Express. They're really comfortable. I was like, should I do a long sleeve, short sleeve? Because I think I'm gonna bring a jacket regardless of how I'm feeling, just in case. I felt really uncomfortable with my tank tops because I'm like, it's a lot more skin than I'm willing to show in case the weather says Never mind. So I thought this was a good medium. I was gonna do a long sleeve, but I was like, maybe this is better. So we're in the middle. I'm not feeling my hair. I don't know. I just feel like it's time for a haircut, but I look stupid if I braid it. So we're just gonna put it in a pony. And I think that will be fine. It is what it is. I do have some new Merit goodies that I haven't tried and they're the new brow. I love Merit face. Haven't heard of Merit. Merit Beauty is very minimalistic. I have the brow 1990 sheer gel pencil. Oh, it's very sheer. I like it a lot. It looks really natural. Let's just try out the Merit volumizing pomade in dark brown gel. It will give me some color. Both of them are a win. They looked really, really natural. Wow. Baby Laura Mercier to catch up. So now I look a little bit more put together. Makeup wise, I brought my Tarte Shape Tape, my Tarte Tubing Mascara, and my Tarte Lip Plumping. Really like them for eyebrows. These two to keep it really natural. And wow, I didn't realize it was all Tarte and Merit. I've got an internet crush. She's not a celebrity, but she's taken. So can't I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up My mama told me don't talk to people you haven't met I guess my mama was right Good morning everyone, it's 4.55 in the morning We're about to head to the airport It's been fun for the last two weeks I just finished packing and zipping everything up and let's head to the airport It's been fun Ireland, I had a great time these last two weeks, it's been great I came home, one of them fell, man down, but at least it didn't break. 
which is good. I think I have more, so when Daniel comes back, I'll have to have him help me fix that again. But I'm really proud of myself because this is the first time where I've traveled internationally by myself and like navigated, especially going through Heathrow by myself. I was really nervous about that because Heathrow is a little complicated. I'm really proud we made it home safely. But thank you guys so much for watching my Ireland vlog. That concludes my month of traveling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.